I got it on my hand. <laughs> Just blend it out. <laughs> That's the rainbow. Oh my gosh. I poked my eye. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be doing my makeup with crayons. It's actually Crayola makeup. They have a beauty line, I guess. We actually got these crayons a while ago, too. We got, my mom bought these like months ago when they first came out, and they were in a box in her office, and I found them, and I was like, Mom, <laughs> were we gonna do a video with these? And so, we're doing it now. <laughs> we have these Crayola, it says lip and cheek crayons. So these are like face crayons. Pinkish red color, we have yellow, green, and then like a bluish purple color. Ah! Ooh, it got on my white hoodie. Hopefully this comes out. <laughs> and then we also have these Crayola boxes, which are super cute. Two different sets. So this one has white, gray, and black. And then this one has a really dark blue, I think, and then like a silverish gray, and then a super sparkly blue. So that's that one. It looks black, but it says cadet blue and navy blue, so I think it's blue. And then there's this one. So that's that. We also got a highlighter stick, which comes in this like shimmery pink box. And then we got three palettes. That's a lot of palettes, but we got three. So they come in this like colorful box. This is what they look like inside the box. I am going to be going for like a rainbow look, but I'm scared that I won't be able to achieve it because we might not have as many like vibrant colors. So if it starts turning into like pastel, then I'll just say it's fairy, okay? It's either gonna be rainbow or it's gonna be fairy. We're gonna get one of the two. <laughs> so I guess let's just get started. I already have my base on, so I guess we can just get started with eyes, maybe? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my eyes even though it says lip and cheek I'm a rebel and um, I guess I should look in our palettes too one of the palettes is like purple pink and teal and then we've got this one this one's like gray and nude this one's like peachy tones so this is the swatch it's pretty bright that's nice okay let's see I don't know if it blends with like maybe a brush that blended a little bit. We're gonna try it. It's the closest thing we have. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm scared you guys are gonna judge me because I'm definitely not a beauty blogger <laughs> or beauty guru. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Don't judge me. <laughs> How do the beauty gurus do it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> Let's do the other side now. Just trying to get them to match. Alrighty, now it's supposed to go orange next because it's the rainbow, but I don't have an orange crayon, so maybe we should check our palettes. We're gonna have to work with one of these. I'm using this like coppery color. I just have to use a little bit so that it's just like a transition color between the yellow and the red. I might have to go back over with the yellow. Just like that. So far, so good. The copper is actually working better than I thought it would. Wow. Uh, I watched some other like beauty gurus videos on this when it was um, a few months ago and this first came out. <laughs> I think it's turning out pretty good. Now we're gonna do red or like this pinkish red because it's the closest we have. <laughs> and then we'll just go like this. This will work, I just gotta blend it. This is gonna be like a glam look for sure. I don't know how many people wear rainbows like on a normal basis, but I don't. <laughs> so this is gonna be pretty glam for me. It's not like bright red, it's like more of like a pastel-y pink, which is kind of more what I was expecting. That's why I said the like fairy thing. So we might be like a pastel rainbow fairy, all right? <laughs> Now we can go back over the copper so that it's nice and orangey in the middle. How's that look? Looks good? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is this like situation I got going here? I'm like resting my arm on my other hand. I'm playing Twister. Oh 
wow that looks decent it looks good right hopefully <laughs> I think it looks good so that's the top and so it's gonna go yellow orange red slash pink and then I think I'm gonna go purple blue green so it's gonna like go underneath hopefully that works and I don't look insane <laughs> alright so we have two options for purple I think I'm gonna go with this purple because it's darker make it a little more pop instead of pastel which I don't know if that'll help the look but we're gonna do it anyways <laughs> so um, should I try using this because this is really light we're gonna use this anyways okay so we just gotta do a little teeny bit underneath like this yeah the pastel it looks pretty but I you can't really see it too well underneath my eye so I think using a darker purple will help more just like that yeah that looks nice hopefully I keep saying hopefully because I don't want to be like this looks so great and then everyone else is like no it doesn't <laughs> yeah now I just gotta do it on the other side so we'll this isn't taking too too long which is nice I was thinking it was gonna take a lot longer I really like the crayon because it helps you get like a nice defined line. Especially for the pink because I have a problem personally where right next to my lashes I can't get any eyeshadow. This helped me get like right there where it's harder to get the color. I really enjoy that about these. Even though I don't think this one's supposed to be used for eyes, it works really well for eyes. Okay, so we're just gonna layer this light purple and the dark purple together. Just like that. And then we can use our brush and just blend them like that. So I'm trying to add a lot. <laughs> I got it on my hand, but it didn't get on my hoodie this time, so it's all good. <laughs> just blend it out. <laughs> now we are going to do blue. Still using the same palette as the purple. We have these two blues right here. So we have like a baby blue and then like a tealish blue. So I think I'll use the baby blue first and then use the teal blue to blend it into the green. That's the plan. <laughs> we'll see if it works. I haven't been swatching them. I swatched the yellow and then I haven't swatched any of them since. That blue is really pretty. That's the blue. It's really pretty. I like it. Look at that. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, and now we just gotta do it on the other side. And it didn't even need the crayon. That's just the eyeshadow by itself. That is super pretty. And then we can use this side to blend it with the purple. I really like that. That's super pretty. Mm. <laughs> now I'm gonna do this teal color just like a tiny bit to help transition to the green. It might not even need it, but it's a pretty color and I wanna use it, so we're gonna use it. <gasps> Look at that. That is so pretty. This bottom one, that's the teal. I'm not using very much, but it is Gorgeous. I love that. Yes! <laughs> now we're gonna do green, just right here, and then we'll do a little highlight in the corner, and then we can do everything else on our face. Like this. Let's do the other side. And then we add eyeshadow to make it nice and sparkly. That's the rainbow, oh my gosh. Okay, I look a little crazy, but it's fine. I'm a rainbow crazy, so. <laughs> <gasps> I forgot, no! Okay, I just realized that I do have a blue crayon, so we're gonna use it. <laughs> it's like a really pretty shimmery blue, too. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That's the blue. It's gonna definitely make the color darker, which I don't know how it's gonna look, but we're gonna try it because we have this crayon and I wanna use it. <laughs> Okay, so it's not making it that different. I used it on this side and I haven't done it to this side yet. Okay, yeah. It's probably just because I used the other one first because they definitely don't look the same. That's the original blue and this is the crayon. So, I don't know. It looks the same on my eye, but it is definitely not the same color. So, I'll just add it to my other eye. That's pretty good. Now, we can do the little highlight in the inner corner. We tested this one earlier, and it's like a really shiny white, so I think I'll use this one, which looks blue in the palette, 
but it looks pretty white on my fingers, so I think I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna put it in with my pinky since it's already on my pinky, just like that. So I just use that to like highlight the inner corner, and I think it looks good. Nice, it looks kind of pastel on the top, honestly. I feel like the pink is definitely like the most pastel part, probably because it's supposed to be red, so I'm just thinking like, it looks like a pastel red because it's pink, but it still looks really nice. I just realized that we have pink eyeshadows here and I didn't use them. Is this a purple or a pink? Let's see. That looks pink, right? I'll use this one. I'm gonna use this one. It looks purple on the palette, but hopefully it's pink. Yeah, that matches. I think that's a good match for the one that I have on. So you could probably achieve the same look without the crayons, honestly, but I think the crayons were fun to use because it's Crayola makeup, so <laughs> I'm glad we got the crayons. Like, if you're gonna get Crayola makeup, you might as well get the crayons, right? <laughs> now, I would have never thought to do this, but my mom was suggesting that maybe I should put the white crayon in the inner waterline to make my eyes look bigger. I have never put anything in my waterline before and I'm terrified, but we're gonna try it and hope I don't poke my eye out. <laughs> uh, I'm terrified. <laughs> my eyes watering. <laughs> I'm being so over dramatic, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm just not gonna put it in my waterline because it's not working anyways. I poked my eye! <laughs> Okay, so it's not going in my waterline. It's kind of just going where my lashes are. But you know what? It's fine. We gotta do it to the other eye now. Oh wait, it's working on this eye. What the heck? Eyes. <laughs> this eye doesn't want to cooperate. And I keep poking my eyeball. <laughs> That's the eyes. I think they look pretty good. They turned out way better than I was expecting, honestly. Because um, most of the rainbow like eye looks that I see, they're super like bright and vibrant. And I know we have like a few more like pastel looking shades, but I think it turned out pretty good with the pastel shades, honestly. What do you guys think? You want me to do eyeliner? This could mess it up. <laughs> this could be the end. We're gonna try, but like this could be it. <laughs> it's like a black crayon. We're gonna try. I'll just put like a little bit right now. That doesn't look good. I have abort mission, abort mission. <laughs> I don't know about this. This is good, this is fine, it's all good. We're good, everything's good, hey. <laughs> Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. <gasps> Eyeliner is stressful. <laughs> Let's do other face things. We have this highlighter, so maybe we should do that. So I'll do contour next. Contour is also quite scary, but we're gonna try it. This looks like iridescent, honestly. So it's like a stick. Ooh, that's super pretty. Okay, so it's like a pinkish color, so it works as like a blush too. I also like to go up a little bit, like right here. I don't know if everyone else does that, but I do that, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> that's the highlighter. And then the other side. So that's both sides of my highlighter. I could do a little bit on my nose maybe too, because I've seen people do that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, there's so many places where I've seen people put highlighter and it just looks weird on me. Ooh, I also like to put highlighter on my brow bone, like right here. Mm -hmm. This actually might work better with the white from the inner corner so that it matches. So that is how it looks with all the highlighter. I could even put a little bit on my cheekbones too because this one's super bright. I don't know if this one's supposed to be a highlighter, but it would work really well as a highlighter, so I'm using it like that. All right, so that is highlighter. Now we gotta do contour. Oof. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this one. Most of the ones in this palette are like really shimmery, but this one looks matte right here. Did that work? Yeah. So I just did a mixture of these two colors up here. Blum, 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 go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> this side is really dark, but we get to cover that with our hair anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> now I'm gonna do lips. I lost my red. <laughs> is it on the floor? Every five-year-old's worst nightmare. I lost one of my crayons. <laughs> okay, I found it. It was sitting right next to me. So this is like a nice pinky color is what I used on the outer corner of my eye, so I think it'll help it match a little too. I really like this color, it's really pretty, and this is a lip and cheek crayon, so it's meant for your lips. 
it's like not too bright either so I could definitely use this outside of glam the bottom lip I used it and the top lip I didn't so it just adds like a little baby bit of color this is a super pretty color though I know most beauty gurus overline their lips to make them look nice and big but um I don't want to look like Miranda Sings, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> no offense, Miranda Sings. <laughs> now, lashes. I don't know if Crayola has lashes, but if they do, we didn't get them. So I have my own mascara and lashes. We don't have any eyelash glue, though, so if we use the fake lashes, we're just gonna have to pray that they stick with whatever is attaching them to the plastic. <laughs> These are my show choir lashes too, so if they look a little crazy, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's try this. They're kind of sticking, they're kind of sticking. I just have to fix them. Oh my gosh, they're sticking. Okay, kind of. <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> we got our lash glue. Don't judge me. <laughs> Cause this could get messy. I got this, I got this. Self-confidence. Oh my gosh, I mess it up. Ah. <laughs> it's stuck to my thumb now. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> okay, I got this. Ah, it's stuck to my finger. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah. That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> All right, now for the other eye. Ah. All right, I finally put on the lashes after like 10 minutes of trying. <laughs> I think that it looks really good. I think lashes add a lot to like every look. These ones are pretty big and I normally wouldn't wear them unless I was doing like a performance or something. I think that they add a lot to like glam looks. So I really like how this turned out actually. I also really like these products and I think I will use some of them. I know I heard some criticism for other videos, but I didn't have a lot to complain about. These are really nice and I like them a lot. I am definitely not a beauty guru, but I think that this turned out really nice and vibrant and colorful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I am also a part of We Are The Davises and my brother Tyler has a channel called Davises Gaming, so make sure you go follow him. And until next time, 